Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is the Nostalgia Half Hour and we are here with the original, the one that started it all, the Lara Croft phenomenon, Tomb Raider. I uh, had this, I think, the day of release? I don't know, it was very early on in the release anyway. And I loved it. I played it probably for a good solid two years. It took me a long time to complete. But I did eventually complete this game. And the second one, I um, think the third one too, I really can't remember. But this is the one that started it all. Here we go, we'll watch this. High tech what intro. What does a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualipec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? The graphics look positively... Well, I, would, I wouldn't say rubbish, you know. Ahead of its time. When it came out. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, that was an instant memory there. Wow. Let me start a new game. This is just like revisiting an old friend. I'm sure many of you out there, if you're tuning into this video, played this game back in the day. I mean, things have changed quite a bit now, but this is still a classic. Just a bit worried that I'm not going to remember the controls once the game starts. <laughs> I'm sure it will come flooding back to me. It's hard to believe just how popular Lara Croft became from this one game. And everybody back in the 90s seemed to know it, you know. It was the first video game that I can remember. You know, I mean, I did, didn't really get into Zelda and Mario when I was younger because I never had a Nintendo. But this was the first game I can remember that just went global. Maybe Sonic was the one before Wow <laughs> Action packed Full circle, he's dead I've also got to remember, I don't think I can use the analog stick in this, as far as I can remember. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> See how quickly I can readapt. Okay, here we go. I was a bit worried about picking this because it didn't feel ancient enough. But when you think about it, it's 22 years ago this game came out. Yeah, you can't use a stick. Okay, so let's just get a little. Okay, it's square to jump. Now, I believe is it triangle to draw the weapons? Yeah, and I'm assuming it'll be X to fire. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Right. Well, I've kind of reacquainted a little bit, I guess. Pretty sure there are some enemies coming up. Oh, alright, I know what's going to happen here. They're going to fire darts at me. Now, how do I avoid that? I just want to maybe just jump. I don't know. No, I'll just keep going. <laughs> we'll outrun anything that comes at us. Right, I'll just prepare for something around here. Sure, there's something. Maybe not then.
Let me try and remember how to get up. Is it jumping in? Let's have a look. No, I'm not gripping that. Why have I got to get up here? No. Probably right first time. Okay, this is not going well. I think that's too high to grip. Yeah. It's what I mean, you see, it's uh Aha. I forgot she gives you little clues. Yeah, that's it. I forgot that as well, you press X to jump up on certain areas. Is this where I had enemies? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Bats. I was expecting wolves for some reason. Have I misremembered or am I going to have something coming at us in a minute? More bats. Okay, maybe I have misremembered. I know I don't know if I'm getting confused with Tomb Raider 2 when it's the tiger you get from the beginning. I don't think you can even yeah, you can't even move the camera on these games. to let me guns drawn. It it all seems so confusing now. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's funny how some games age well graphically and some don't. I mean this is ahead of its time pretty much. But to me a, a game a SNES game like a Mario or a Zelda look more polished to me than this and I don't know if that's being harsh or or what to be fair, but it doesn't to me it doesn't look like this game's aged too well. But then I don't know, see, because um it might just be that we're really spoilt now with the games that we have. I'm trying to remember where I gotta go. Was I not supposed to go down here? You can tell it's been a while. Do you know I must have gone through the first section of this game? Probably I know, 10, 20 times before and you come back to a game and you just get lost. Of course, that was the one thing about the early Tomb Raider games. You didn't get a map or anything, so I don't think you do anyway. Should we have a look? That's just the pause button. You get a compass. What does that tell us? Not really a lot, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Okay, that's not really going to help me anyway. I'm sure there are probably people out, out there watching this game yelling at the screen, wondering what the heck I'm doing. But I'm just going to backtrack, see if there was anything this way. It might be that I've just gone the wrong way. Hmm. I ain't getting up there, that's too high. Okay, so I must have been going the right way. Like I said, sometimes it just comes straight back to you. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay, well this is where I was. It's got to be the right direction. 
There's got to be something here I'm not seeing. Oh, that's definitely a wall. Oh, okay. We've got to drop a bit further. Idiot. That was fairly straightforward, wasn't it, when you get down there? Ah, here we go. Alright, we've got a switch. Now we get the walls, I believe. Bats. <laughs> sure there's walls around here somewhere. Um, don't think I'm not going to waste my bullets. I can't shoot that, I'm pretty sure. Maybe that opens at a later time. Let's go up here. I think this is right. I'm going to draw my guns every time because I know there are, there are definitely wolves coming up at some point. I know it because they always used to get me. I always used to be prepared and they'd always get me. Guaranteed. It could be when I drop down here. Oh yep, yeah, look. She's pointing at something. Yep, yeah, there they are. done. I'm sure there's more than one there. I could be wrong. I'll tell you what though, the enhancements that were made to later games are so much of an improvement because it really hinders you now. Going back to these old games when you can't actually change the camera angle. Let's kill this thing before because I don't want to drop down and I have to confront it. Come on. Where are you? See, look, normally I'd turn the camera there and have a look for it, but... There we go. I can't remember if I have to go down there or whether that's just if I accidentally fall. I'd rather not take the chance that it's still alive. I think there's only two, although generally with computer games you go with a rule of three, don't you? But... From what I can remember, there's only two. Obviously, you, I think we all know what kind of a long game the Tomb Raider games are, so I won't be expecting me to get too far within this half an hour. But as always, like I always say on all my videos, I keep the save game file, so if you, uh, if you do want me to play any more, all you've ever got to do is leave me a comment. Does that look like something to collect down there? Don't really know if I want to go down there. No, we'll leave it. Like I said, I'm not playing for long anyway, so I'll leave that for now. I've just said, seen something in the distance that I've forgotten about in this game. You can't save the game. Um independently so you have to use these save game crystals so that could be an issue when we come up to the half an hour point <laughs> so kind of make sure there is a crystal available got a feeling if i remember there is an enemy down the bottom there if you fall let's try and get the timing of this jump right then yeah you can hear it already so i definitely do not want to fall down here Sure, I don't know. I feel it's something really nasty, like a bear or something. Oh, just about got that right. But I can't remember if I actually have to go down there or not. This is the save game crystal here. I'm guessing, do I press X on it? Yeah, there we go. Memory card, memory card, slot one is full. 
Okay, that's not good. We'll just continue. Maybe I need to select a new memory card or create a new memory card. I'll make sure I do that before I turn the game off. I don't want to waste any of our game time here. Sure, there's something down there. <laughs> I would rather shoot it because I've got a fin. I'm going to have to go down there at some point, but it's not going to let me. It's not going to be that easy on me. So, Yeah, that doesn't sound too good, does it? I think there might be a collectible there. These are the little health packs. Um, how do I walk? Is it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, these are the little ones. They give you a little bit of health back. And you can get the big ones that give you the full heal. All right. Let's have a look. I've got a feeling that I might not. Oh, no, I can get through there. It's that thing down here, though. Yeah, that's the scary music. There's going to be an enemy. Where are you? Yeah, there we go. The thing I do love about this game though is she will point the guns. So you know if something's coming running at you a lot of the time. Still got the music though, which is freaking me out a little bit. Yep. What's down here, please? Come on, I know you're here. Oh, let's just drop. Show yourself. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe it's just because I've got a puzzle to do. There's a collectible over there, so it looks like it's another health kit. Another small one. And these are accessible, I'll show you. Press the select button. There you go. And obviously, you press the button to select. Or the, I think it's the X button. Right, so we'll see there's a switch here. I'm assuming I just have to go and press that. Hopefully it's just gonna open the door. Sometimes you get timed ones. I'm hoping this isn't a timed one. just in case never be too careful in this game you will get other guns at some point see that door closed behind me so I don't know whether that was timed this is always so exciting the sense of adventure you get from a Tomb Raider game that's not going away that's still it's still they're very much there sense that floor was going to fall there. The problem I got now is hmm, I'm not sure can I lower myself I can't remember if you can lower yourself down I think you can unless it was a, a feature for the No, maybe not then. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't take no damage, so I'm happy. Any more nasties down here anywhere? Nope. I'm hoping that memory card is not going to come back to haunt me because I really don't want to not save the game and then end up 
dying because if I do then I'm gonna have to start again so that would be incredibly frustrating if that happens okay Again, get the gun for just in case. That's a switch. I think I could just drop down to that. What I can remember, I can't remember if there is a a way you safely drop. Oh, you can look around. Yeah, there you go. You hold the left one button and then spin that. Yeah, that's the shimmy. So the, the two kind of trigger buttons, or L1 and L2, they shimmy you across. Right one is what you do to walk, so you can walk to the edge. And left one allows you to just look around. I don't know if you can do it with a stick when you press no it's definitely none of none of the controls are stick. Okay. That's the door we opened. Draw the guns again. Okay, that door's not oh there we go. Oh it's the end of the level. Okay, fair enough. Now what I'm gonna do quickly He's going to the menu here. Right, let's see if that gives us the memory card that we can save on to. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. That wasn't too difficult. The last thing you want to do is not save because this kind of game, it can come back to bite you that decision. And I really don't want to have to start again. We've got nine minutes left on the half an hour, so. Now, walls are in here, I'm pretty sure. I know I've said that a few times today. And how? <laughs> There's quite a few walls in there. At least my memory's not gone completely. Oh, it's very hard to run in a straight line with the D-pad. It was such an improvement when they let you use the sticks. Keep the guns drawn, actually, just in case. Can't remember if these is unlimited ammo on these guns. I think it might be. Alright. Let's have a little explore. Like I said earlier, keep the guns drawn just in case. Oh, yes. I know at some point I've got to go down into that water. One thing I hate about Tomb Raider games, but guarantee you get it in all of them, including the new one, or the new ones, should I say, is um, water. It's a nice for the bats. Do love the way she shoots in this game. She, she will point at stuff until it's gone. It's very helpful. Let's see if we've got any pickups around here that I've missed. See anything? I would have thought, though, if there were bats around here, that there must be something to do. What's down here? Is this where we've been before? Yeah, looks like it. I don't know, is it? Is that where we came in? Uh, oh, yeah, probably. Okay. Well, it's looking likely that dropping down that hole is the thing I've got to do here, then. Can't remember how to swim in this game, either, so this should be interesting. 
Um, have I checked in here yet? Let's have a look. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't think I can take that on, so we're just gonna run. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm not interested. Thank you. How do I swim? Square button to swim. I hope there's not a crocodile in here. swimming bits in any of these games. These make me feel so claustrophobic. Oh, I thought that was thought that was a real snake then for a minute. <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't take the bear on. So that's why I didn't decide to fight it. Pretty sure that's the that's the case from what I can remember. Ah, is there no way out of here? Um, I may have taken a wrong turn in here. There seems to be a switch. Okay, yeah, maybe I took a wrong turn in. Was there another way to go there? Man, I don't like that shadow. I thought I was a blooming crocodile then for a minute. Maybe I have got to kill the bear then? Oh, maybe I can go this way. Is this the way I came or...? Oh, thank goodness for that. We're about to run out of air then. That's usually the sign that we've found a secret. So this might not even be the way I'm supposed to go. Pretty sure that's what that noise indicates. Why well, is the switch here? I don't know how long this one's going to last, this game, because I think I'm going to have to play until I've... Oh, jeez! Oh, you scared the hell out of me! Alright. Right, I don't know where I'm supposed to go now, officially, but... I've just gone around a full circle with that bear. Well, that's where I went. And this is the secret room. Is anything else open up in here? Oh. oh, there's another switch. Okay. Where's that going to open up then? Ah, there we go. Okay. So, if I... I think I might have to just go and get some air. I think I can come in here without to go up. My air back. Alright, let's go. Hopefully after all this there'll be a save because we're coming up to the half an hour. I don't mind playing for a bit longer if there's not but you know, the title of the show is Nostalgia Half Hour so you, you do try always and hit that half an hour mark if at all possible. Oh, I tell you what, my heart still hasn't calmed down from uh, coming across that bear. That really scared me. <laughs> Probably did back in the day as well. All right, we're back in here. Hopefully, we're not going to come out in front of the bear again, but we'll take precautions just in case. Um, where is this door? Must be around the other side. I hope it was in this room. <laughs> Oh, there it is, there. 
What's that noise again? Okay, what we got here? Oh, some... No. Ammo. Uh, I'm not sure what that's ammo for. Will it tell me? Yeah, it will do. Is that for machine gun? Oh, magnum, okay. You can remember we got a magnum in this game. Anyone who plays Resident Evil knows magnum. Best weapon in the game normally. Can't remember if it's the same for Tomb Raider or not. I know you get machine guns later and you'll get a shotgun. Shotgun, I think in most games, is the game I, the gun I always favour. Oh, where are we? Oh no, I'm back in here again. Oh, that must surely just have been a wrong turn. There must be a way out here somewhere. Please tell me there is because I don't actually know where to go if not. Um, there isn't. There's no way up, is there? No. Oh, where the heck am I supposed to go then? Maybe I do have to kill the bear. But then there still wasn't anywhere to go with the bear. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's for me to solve another day. I'm going to leave it there because that is a half an hour up. And I'm going to be very punctual on this game. The thing about it is I don't actually 100% know where the next save game crystal is. I could be playing for another 20 minutes. Um, not that I'm averse to doing that for you guys. But I just feel like I've got to stick to the rules. So I will play to here. What I'll probably do is search ahead before I turn this game off. Just to see if I can find the next save game crystal. And find where we're going. In case any of you are interested in me playing some more. Because if you are you've only got to leave it in the comments. And ask me to play for a little bit longer or play through the whole game i can do that for you too if, you, if that's your bag so please do let me know and uh, i'll see what i can do for you guys okay thanks very much for tuning in once again for the nostalgia half hour i don't know where we're going next what console um uh, might be early nintendo like i said i didn't actually own any of the snes or nes consoles but i've since played a lot of games on them and obviously it's not only about my nostalgia, but it's about the nostalgia for you guys out there. That's why I play these games, to remind all of us of the good times. So maybe I shall go to that console next, as I haven't played any yet. Or we may start revisiting some of the ones we've already played. I've got a few games in mind anyway. So as usual, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And they will certainly be considered. And I look forward to hearing any feedback that you have for me. Tell me I'm rubbish. Tell me I'm all right. You know, just anything you fancy saying, just give me a shout out. And if you do like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots more content coming. And if there's any uh, new games you want me to play also, it doesn't always have to be retro. Um, I've got all the latest releases, you know, so if you feel like you want to see something that's new, let me know, any console, and I'll certainly try and sort that out for you. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care. Have a fantastic week, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.